An incoming Queensland judge backed a move in the elite Brisbane Tattersalls Club that would have effectively shut the door to female members. Weeks before his appointment to the Supreme Court, Justice Thomas Bradley put his name to a motion to change the voting rules at the club. Josh Robertson has this exclusive report. For 153 years, the Tattersalls Club has been a symbol of Brisbane's elite. But in the 21st century, the controversy over its all-male membership keeps landing blows. At the moment, our wives can enjoy 90% of the facilities of the club. The issue here is that this, this club does allow women, but only as second-class citizens, as associates. So they're not allowed in as equals. That's not good enough for Queensland's female Premier, who's banned her ministers from tats until it changes its rules. But her government's latest appointment to the Supreme Court put his name to a proposal that appeared at odds with the Premier's stance. Thomas Bradley QC was one of 40 TATS members pushing a motion the club committee says would have sabotaged the current vote on ending female exclusion. Anyone who backs a motion like that uh, is clearly uh, not supporting uh, gender equality. Incoming Justice Bradley is in good company. Also on the list, MP Robbie Catter, Coffee King Dean Merlo, Knight of the Realm Sir Leo Helsher, as well as Justice Bradley's former National Party colleague and vocal opponent of admitting women, Bill Ochi. They called for a rule that any vote to change membership required the support of more than 50% of all members. The committee said it wouldn't support the motion because only 30 to 45% of members traditionally vote, making it practically impossible to ever change membership rules. It's a very much a personal preference, and I think no matter which side um, you sit on this issue, that preference needs to be respected. Kerry Carrington says the judiciary in particular should reflect modern social attitudes. We've had a long history of gender bias in the judiciary in Australia, in all, all states of Australia, and at all levels of the judiciary, uh, and it's been a significant concern for women in law. Queensland's Attorney General says Mr Bradley is a highly regarded commercial silk, which is what the court needs. Appointments are determined on merit and not on an individual's political views. Justice Bradley declined to comment. He'll sit alongside female peers on the Supreme Court bench. Whether he'll do likewise in Tattersall's depends on the outcome of the vote tomorrow night. Josh Robertson, ABC News.